everyone in this video we are going to learn how to apply the squeeze theorem in order to evaluate the limit of the function firstly we will deal with the one variable function after that we will extend this theorem for the multivariable functions basically a squeeze theorem is also called as a sandwich theorem and it is a very useful theorem in order to determine the limit of function by comparing it by two other function with no limit the statement is in this theorem we have a three function original function as fx we will find the two function g1 and g2 such that it holds this inequality means the function is always less than equal to g2 and greater than equal to g1 near to that required point and as x tends to that point a the function g1 and g2 approaches to suppose n in this case if the limit of these two function is approaches to l whenever x is approaches to a we can conclude that the function limit at that point a is also is equal to l let's go through our first example to see the squeeze theorem in action Consider this example. We need to find the limit of x square sine one by x near to the zero. Means whenever x is approaching to zero, what we can do? We can write sine one by x. This function is bounded between minus one to one because its minimum value is minus one and the maximum value is one. Multiply this inequality with the x square. As x square is a positive, so inequality does not change their sign. So we can write x square with a negative sign less than or equal to x square sine one by x less than or equal to x square. So we have this as an original function. Now we have find it the two function g one and g two. Such that this f x is less than or equal to g two and greater than or equal to g one. Now apply this limit. Limit as x tends to zero. This function as it is. Limit as x tends to zero f x less than or equal to limit as x tends to zero g two function. In this case, limit is zero, and in this case, it is also zero. It says that the limit of this function x square sine of one by x as x tends to zero lies between zero and zero. So this indicates that limit as x tends to zero x square sine of one by x Is equal to zero by squeeze theorem. Here we have the graph of these three function. Yellow represents the graph of x square sine one by x. Blue curve represents the x square, and the red curve represents the minus x square. As you can observe that as x tends to zero, the limit of all these three function is equal to zero. And this function x square into sine one by x is in between minus x square to x square. This is how the squeeze theorem is applicable in a one variable. Now we will extend this concept in a multivariable function. Squeeze theorem for multivariable function for finding the limit. Here we have the example x square plus y square sine of one by x y. This is a function of two variable. We need to find its limit at zero zero. When we put x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero, we have zero into sine one by zero. One by zero is infinity, so zero into sine infinity. And now sine infinity is not defined. We don't know what exactly the value in this case. As per the observation, we are getting answer as equal to zero, but we need to sure whether that answer is exactly zero or not. For surety, what we will do, we will observe the function. In this case, we have sine one by x y. 